Shook it up. Good morning guys. Today is Monday the 20th of August and I have been up for a good few hours now. It is 11 a.m. I've probably been up since about 8. I got an early night last night and slept for like 10 hours and feel a lot more revitalized. So last week my weight started quite high because I had my period and it had gone up to 117.6 pounds. This is normal as I said in my previous video and over the week it literally just started dropping, dropping, dropping to yesterday where it was down to 113 pounds but that probably had something to do with some wine that I drank the night before. I was probably a little bit dehydrated and yesterday was my high carb day and I used that to fulfill any of my hunger cravings that I was having yesterday. Ate all my extra carbs and today I am up to 116.4 pounds. Again normal after a high carb day and after yesterday I probably didn't drink enough water. I feel like a little bit still a little bit dehydrated and um, a little bit bloated today even. Probably tomorrow I expect my weight to go down but the importance of my daily weigh-ins is not for me to get stressed about it going up and down and up and down. It's because at the end of the week I will take an average of all my daily weigh-ins and then we have an average to go by each week. So those fluctuations daily they all balance each other out and average out for a much more accurate reading. So as I said I've been up for a good few hours, I've done my cardio, I've walked the dogs, we do quite a long walk in the morning. It's about a half an hour walk and it takes about 3,000 steps because I'm trying to get my 10,000 steps in. I'm having a caffeinated coffee. I've already had some banana bread that I made and that recipe will be coming to the Gymshark blog on Wednesday the 29th of August. So every two weeks I will have a new recipe up on the Gymshark blog on Gymshark Central. So go check it out, support me, give me thumbs up, all that kind of jazz. And banana bread coming soon. It's a really good recipe. I've been working on it for a long time because I wanted to get a low carb, high protein banana bread that actually tasted good. And some of the first attempts were pretty shoddy and did not in any way taste good. But this finished product is delicious. So we have banana bread coming out of our ears because I've been baking and baking and baking it. So today I am going to go and do a glute workout and as some of you may have seen I have made major progress particularly in the last year in my glutes and that is because I have been doing a more focused workout. I'm not squatting anymore and I've had to get a bit more adventurous with my glute workout. So today I'm going to show you my top glute exercises which I think work really really well to grow your glutes. So the booty to get that roundy butt, bubble butt. So I will record my workout now and put it up after this and then I will follow it up with a physique update because I didn't do one for you guys last week and I feel like I definitely have tightened in so you get to see what changes have been made in the last two weeks to my physique as I am just under 11 weeks out from my next competition. Just taking it one day at a time Still don't know what I'm trying to find Really I don't mind Cause I'll be fine Yeah I'll be fine Yeah No longer focused on yesterday And I don't care The rest will say Whatever they want What's left to say What's left to say Cause I'm leaving All the pain today Meaning What I'm trying to say Believing Have you ever felt Are you listening? Damn
So I am in from the gym, I'm showered, I've spent the day cleaning the house, writing my blog for Gymshark and just getting shit done generally. So now I'm just gonna do a quick physique update and that is it for the video. It is a galoot focused video. It's all about the beauty today. You will notice that as I diet longer and as I go further into my 3D lipo treatment that I'm having done currently, you will see improvements in the back of my legs and my ass. And I really, that is my focus guys. This is my focus for this prep is to get my legs in as lean as possible. They are my problem area. There is nothing wrong with admitting that you are not happy with a part of your body. And there is nothing wrong with trying to improve that part of your body. What would be wrong is if it stopped me in my daily life doing things, which it doesn't. I'm on here, I'm recording myself in my underwear, showing you guys my progress, not to make you feel bad about yourself, not to make me feel good about myself, but because I want to show what a real body looks like and how you can improve it over a period of time with consistent training, with a consistent diet, and with being healthy along the way. That was a mouthful. So here you go. This is my physique update. Regardless of who is watching this video, I hope you enjoy it. If I only had a hundred fans, I'd take them all to dinner, talk about the people that we used to be. If I had a hundred fans, I'd buy them all to Paris, ain't nobody paying, I'd be buying the drinks. And we would party, and we would dance, and we would throw up all them hands until they turn to clouds. Yeah, I got you now, if I only had a hundred fans. Life's too short to be an asshole.